and it will give you the freedom to know what you're playing and if you're playing a voice and you don't know you can have a look what chords and uh, what notes are in the chord and why and maybe I can change a note so it's about freedom and if you know your roadmap on the fretboard you're much freer to play what you like and I think it's a very important step <laughs> Welcome back to Jazz Guitar Lessons. Today I'm going to talk about very fundamental stuff. So if you're an um, advanced player, this may be not for you, but it's for some of my students, because I think uh, there's something that you really should know or that should be a goal on your instrument, and that is that you know all the notes on your fretboard. So I'm going to talk about the chromatic scale today, and uh, let's get started. If you think about the piano, it has white keys and black keys. Thank God it has black keys, but it has white keys and the white keys are the C major scale. So on the guitar, everything's a little different. There are no white or black keys, there are only frets and the guitar is a chromatic instrument, meaning when you move from one note to the next like this, it's a half note, a half step. From one note to the next it's like an F to an F sharp so it would be like on the piano if you would be playing all the keys the white keys and the black keys and you have just have to remember the name of those notes and I'm going to say it once for you on the E string and there's also going to be a PDF for download at my website so it's the E the F the F sharp or the G flat, the G, the G sharp or the A flat, the A, the A sharp or the B flat and in Germany it's just the B, it's the B. Then it's the uh, B natural, in Germany it's the H. Then the C, the C sharp or the D flat, the D, the D sharp or the E flat and then the E. It repeats, all notes repeat on the 12th fret of your guitar. So if you would start on another string, you just start on another note and the chromatic scale continues like this, A, A sharp, B flat, B natural, C. You get the idea. So why am I doing this video? So one of the most important things for me is that you know <laughs> The notes of your fretboard and because it's like a map for you whatever you are playing be the G major chord or a dominant uh, 13 flat 9 or a scale you have the ability to check out which notes you're actually playing and you also want to think about their relationship to the key so if you're playing a G major you'd say the note notes G, B natural, D, G, D, G, but also think about the relationship to the root. So G is the root, B the third major third, D the fifth and so on. And I think this is so important for your practicing that a part of your practice routine, let's say like 10 minutes, would always consist of saying the notes and saying the relationship of the notes, the telephone number, because that will, after a time, you will know it by heart. I don't have to think about it anymore. You will know the notes by heart you play, and it will be really hard to not know the name of the note. And it will give you the freedom to know what you're playing, and if you're playing a voice and you don't know, you can have a look what chords and uh, what notes are in the chord and why and maybe I can change a note. So it's about freedom and if you know your roadmap on the fretboard you're much freer to play what you like and I think it's a very important step. So always remember if something's really hard for you it's that's what you're supposed to be working on and that's what's going to get you better, much better. So see you soon, bye.